Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to your morning watch list. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Been a very busy uh, couple weeks here for me. And I apologize if the sound isn't all the best. I am uh, <laughs> a little short-handed on my equipment right now. I've been moving into a new place, doing a lot of construction on the house. Uh, so a lot of my things are still packed away. Uh, the room has hardwood floors in it, and there's no sound deadening foam, so everything seems to be a little bit echoey for the time being, so I do apologize ahead of time for that, okay? Uh, but nonetheless, let's get into uh, today's watch list. So, uh, first thing we'll start with is a couple of these penny stocks that are moving around. Uh, SCKT is moving this morning pre-market off of earnings from yesterday all right so that's pretty much all you're going to know they had an earnings report yesterday stock is going up now if we look at the longer term chart on this we're above all of our trending resistance we're really just going in to fight previous price action resistance around the four dollar range okay now something i want to point out that's extremely important that i really suggest many of you guys watching this video follow is that look back when uh, the price of uh, SCKT had gone up to 415. You will see that the volume uh, traded all the way to 101 million. Okay, so back when stock went all the way up to here, let me put this just one screen. Back when we went all the way up to here, and this was uh, 100, basically 100 million shares of volume, maybe even 103 or so. Now we look at it today. We're back at those same prices, yet we've only traded 15 million shares of volume. Now, granted, we still have the whole trading day to go before you know, we suggest that, oh, we're not gonna see as much volume as we previously did. So this is something I always pay attention to um, in relation to if it's gonna keep moving or breaking out, okay? Because if you look back at 100 million shares of volume and the stock went down, that means there could be a lot of people that are still bag holding the stock. Some investors that got caught at these high points and they'd be willing to sell today just because we made it back. Now, in many cases, stocks will not break out of the previous high on their first attempt. So we'll play this, we'll watch it. Um, right now, the trend is holding very well. There's something that I do have to check that I have yet to actually look at here today, and that is Finviz. What I want to do is see what are the characteristics about SCKT. So when we go and look at the characteristics on this stock this morning, you will see it has 6 million outstanding shares and 4 million share float. So the float is low, therefore we can see volatility. You're already seeing volatility. And the outstanding shares is fairly low, okay? This is actually a good thing, okay? Because the lower the float, the more volatility, and the lower the outstanding shares, the higher the probability that this could be a bigger runner, okay? When the, when the outstanding shares is like one or two million, that's even better. So this is a good candidate to keep your eyes on today. Now, whether or not you're gonna be long or you're gonna trade it short, there's gonna be moves both ways, okay? So let's keep SCKT on the watch today. Uh, since there's no daily chart levels that we can go off of, I'm just gonna map you off um, some rough estimates of all the resistance points you're probably gonna see, have some interaction or what you can expect to happen as we surpass. For right now, the first resistance mark to get through is at 391 right now. Following that, your next bigger resistance point is gonna be at basically 450 for now, 450, right? And then after that, it's gonna be in the 517. Now, as the day progresses, all of these levels are going to change a little bit. But if in the event you're watching the stock today and you see it trading above $5 or above our blue trending line, which you may or may not have on your chart, um, but I also have a video in that in the description of this video that you can go and watch to know how to set this up exactly. Uh, if in the event SCKT is trading above that blue line today, um, there's a good chance the short seller is going to come in and they're going to hammer it down around that level. Okay, so once this stock gets out of range, um, shorts will come in and hammer it back down. All right, so we're going to follow SCKT. For right now, it's, it's not bad. The only thing I don't like is that the TTM did shift a little red here, which is suggesting some mixed emotion uh, for the time being. Um, something that just recently popped is BIMI, okay? 
granted, I mean, this is just a little pop so far. This doesn't get me all, you know, excited um, by any means. I, I probably think this is just going to come right back down. That's usually the case. Um, all right. Because look, you can see we're trading just like this. You see how BIMI is trading outside the blue line? Okay. That's what I mean. Once it goes over the blue, it's going to get smacked back down. We went right back to the blue line to hold the support. So when that blue line gives way, that's when your next kind of bigger short play uh, would come in. So let's check and see if that's even shortable for me. See so if I have to locate it. Yeah, they'll allow me to short it if I uh, buy shares this morning. So probably going to pass on that for now. All right, uh, next one on the list that we could probably touch on is CLPS. This is another stock that jumped from earnings. Um, it's a slower mover. I myself am probably not going to watch it. I just think it's going to move slow. It's going to be more of a headache than anything. So again, we could keep an eye on uh, CLPS, but again, I'm not a super big fan of that. And the other one this morning that was moving around was the MDGS. Now, a lot of traders were watching this earlier, but it ended up fading out. So this is the interesting thing, though, is that it's kind of just trading sideways. So if it can manage to just kind of trade sideways and hold around the $3 price, I could see a reversal long play happening out of this. But if we really give way below our trend here in the middle, we might as well just anticipate the target's going to be as low as this 277 to 264. All right. What I want to do now is go take a look at the S&P 500, give you guys an overview on this. Uh, right now, pre-market, we're just kind of sitting below this, uh, this 346 price, okay? And if we go and look at the four-hour trending uh, resistance, we're right on that, or we just peaked over it. So for right now, this is kind of a key level that we just went through. This could suggest that the market's going to try to move higher from this dip, okay? Because we are crossing through the 345 mark, 345.87. You can see what's happened the past couple times that we kind of jumped to it, fell below, jumped to it, fell below. Now we're coming back up to retest it. Um, the one thing that we do got to pay attention to in here is we do have red trending TTM. Whenever we have that, it could suggest that a bear move's coming, right? You see how it was red, we're going through the dip, it's red, 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 and then we had a smack back down. Kind of the same thing, we're red, 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 and we're back on the resistance. So I'm not quite sold the market's gonna reverse this long just yet. I think we could arguably see sort of another pullback day. The other thing I wanna mention is if you look at the Qs, the Qs are trading significantly uh, weaker than the S&P 500. So, We've been going through this kind of sideways fading consolidation, which has just been holding below the nine day moving average every single day. So if in the event the queues can get back over the nine day moving average, we'll probably see the queues squeeze off for a move closer back up to the 293. That's right now the target on the upside uh, on this chart, okay? We don't have, maybe the daily chart, let me double check, yeah. So for right now, the breakdown point is gonna be below 279. So if the markets fall below 279, you can expect the Qs are gonna fall, all right? But as long as we hold over 279, which was that low of day from yesterday, right in that area, we can suggest that the markets will try to press over the nine moving average and maybe reclaim back up towards the four hour trending uh, resistance there, okay? So that's primarily all we have for you guys on the watch list today. Again, been a super busy couple weeks. At least just wanted to get something out so you guys could uh, you know, watch something on my channel. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. The quality of the videos and the audio will be getting much better here in the following weeks as I get all my equipment moved back into my office and set up. Um, so last couple weeks really just been working off of minimal equipment. <laughs> so we'll get back. Um, things will be back to normal. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Everybody take care and have a great rest of your day.